Okay, so. And look, look at that fishy in there. Wow, even the fish looks amazing. It's almost like he's saying, just in case if you were wondering if I, by all my abstraction, if I knew realism, it wouldn't surprise me if this is uh, one of his drawings from his younger days, but I don't know. I didn't really do enough research on it. All right, you got this. Like that and a little. Okay. Oh, that now that beak comes way back. Wait, there's his eye, I and mean, there's a crack coming all the way back to there. So, that's something to know. A little bit thicker on this. Okay. And let's hit, let's hit some grays first. Um, So, you know, cat, cat red and um, Prussian blue. He's got some little warms in here, little yellows in there too. Those are interesting. Okay, those are so good to note. And some of them up in there too. And then, um, the yellow. It's very faint yellow. Just giving you a little sense of warm and cool. That's all. And so, so we're in, since we have that yellow, oh, I, I, that was a You know, all, I took red, yellow, and blue to make that yellow. Sorry, I should have said that. And then added a whole lot of yellow to it. Because it's not, it's not jumping. Like, like out on the beach here, you know, you really want a lot of pop in that. So cad red and cad yellow. Okay. And... And use that gray, Russian blue, cad red. It's definitely. Up in here, there's really light ones. I could probably go lighter with that. Okay. <clears throat> there's some in here. And underneath. A little bit of a shadow under there, and then a little bit of a shadow underneath all this. And, and these guys up in here, just dry brush. Fantastic. Just doing those with just dry brush strokes. There's a little, 
sort of a grayish yellow in there. So I'm going to take the yellow and just mix it in with my this color. I just took a little bit of yellow, mixed it into that color. Um, you know, give it a little test. It's probably, yeah, if I really add some water to that. Not quite yellow enough. Maybe a little too much, there we go. Looking for something like that. And could just a touch yellower in some of these areas under here. Definitely back here. I'm going to make an orange out of cad red, cad yellow. It's cad red, cad yellow, and then if you need to gray it, it is a little bit grayer on the top. So just add something kind of gray, or you could add something kind of a blue. Will do it too. There we go. I mean, we, we probably have a ton of grays out on your palette, so you can gray it that way, or you can just add some blue to it. See, either way, it's a very complex color. That's what we want. Okay. Of course, he's got tons of more detail than I'm going to be able to get in here. And but all right, we got this around the eye, a little orange. I'm going to go quite orange with the bottom. And I want to start it off more yellow. I'm trying to make this yellow, but it just won't go yellow. <laughs> For the third time now. Come on. There. Well, that red just loves to dominate the yellow. Okay, and so that one's way back there. This one stops, yeah, about here. And there's a good dash of red right in the middle of it. That's amazing. He just hits it kapow like that. <clears throat> Wonderful. What have we got? Yeah. Those are nice. I come up with some dark on top of here. And I'm going to leave a little highlight right in between this value and this value up here. It's pretty dark up in here. She's using Prussian blue and cad red. That's not, it's not a pure black. So I'm gonna hit it with a little boom. A little bit of that in there, but that's too light. There we go. And even underneath the highlight on this gets pretty dark up in there. I just use the same color. And then I'm gonna just um, 
Yeah, dry brush it out into the beak a little bit. And there's a lot more to do than this. Uh, so I'm just going to hit the darks. Because once we get these darks established, the whole thing will fall into place. I am sure of it. So let's just go right for the eye here. Um, There's another little highlight in there. If you don't get these highlights just right, don't worry about it. Just hit it with a little, a little white. Now I'm gonna spread spread the brush here a little bit and get some of these darks. Just try to brush them in. Like that. And then we got a puff in here. Got some of these. It's just dry brushing. Brush in blue. Cat red. You can also go the other direction down into the flower, down into the feathers to get some of that, you know, to get the white edge down here. And go back up. To get the dark edge out there. So see, I'm cutting it back into the white here. There, and then I come back out You get this outside edge. So I'm working it back and forth, back and forth. It's all painting. I got this one, beautiful stroke. Pretty dry brushed in there. So I'll just get a little bit wetter. Oh, dark. Get that a little bit lighter. And then whatever you want to do with the edges. <clears throat> All these darks. And obviously we could we could work on this. All ever and ever.
some of these other Dry brush that in. Yeah, so after a bit more time, you know, we could get a lot more going on there, but you kind of see the procedure. And, you know, you, you can even see the dry brushing on the fish. It's just amazing. That fish is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> I didn't even get into it, but there's a little elliptical uh, eyelid or eye, eye there. And he even gets the end of the Sheesh. And the gills and crazy man. Yeah, I, I won't mess with that. That's enough. It's just interesting that here's an artist, you know, who goes from this to this, you know. His art knows no bounds. That, that's why I like. Um, that's why I like studying all the time, studying everything all the time. It's, ne it's never ending. It's a great thing to get into if you just love to learn because there's no end to it. Rob, yeah. When you say he simplified the hair and also, um, I mean. What about it? just seems so loose the way he did it oh sure yeah yeah he could have gone i was tighter, i but... was thinking it would have been nice if we knew exactly what he was looking at in the landscapes because just to see how he simplified everything to oh, make yeah. make it work yeah yeah well, one, one thing i like it is that i mean here's something with the heron is 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 extremely fine steady and then he goes from these fine steadies to these really loose you know loose things you know he's he's an analyst and an expression is all in one and i think there's a lot of expression to this bird too beautiful strokes but but i'm just thinking if audubon had done it it would be much more rendered yeah, but take a look at Autobahn. They're not not nearly as realistic as this. Take a look at them. They're very they're very um, interpreted. I mean, he's an, he's an illustrator. I mean, he illustrates the bird. He really does. Too. Um, but no, that the Autobahn wouldn't. I mean, he wouldn't show the brush strokes. But the level of understanding here is just. I don't think Audubon was on that level. Audubon's a great designer, though, but not, not a great realist. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see now. Um, Wait, you said Audubon was not a great realist? Well, okay, you want to argue with me? Okay. No, no. No, it's okay. I mean, I, maybe I don't know enough about Audubon. I I always thought his stuff was so, you know, incredibly detailed. It's and very really... detailed, but it's not very realistic. Ah, okay, okay. Well, no, yeah. let, let's no, 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 no. Everybody's everybody wants to know here. No. Oh, well, I think we can see. Uh, see, I there's would... the heron. See, see, see how idealized everything is. It's uh... not realistic. It's idealized. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. he's painting, he's painting literally what he sees, uh, Turner. This isn't what the artist sees. It's an idealized almost cartoon of what he sees. Right. Right? So okay. you, you can be you can be very detailed, but not be, I mean, that's not photographic detail right there. 
Whereas um, I'm sure uh, Turner is observing this from nature and he's probably observing it from a, a stuffed bird or taxidermy or whatever you want to call that. I mean, now it's gorgeously designed, but birds don't look like that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now, birds look like what Turner did. They look a lot like that. And I've seen people that even get more realistic than, than, uh, than Turner, but that's a pretty darn good rendition. Now, is render, well rendered, a, a correct term for Audubon or not? Yeah, they're well rendered. Yeah, the, the technique is extremely detailed. But there's a difference between a detailed painting and a, a, a realistic painting. Okay. It's just not very Rob, Rob? Yeah. Are you saying that Audubon's is like more stylized? Extremely stylized, okay. right. Okay. And I'm not taking anything away from his art, you know, he's, he's a great artist, but he's a, he's a, uh, I, I can show you who's, I could show you some realistic artists that'll blow your mind. I just can't think of their darn names right now. I'm really appreciative of this, Rob, because I just no. hadn't thought of the, you know, I hadn't yeah. thought in those terms. Uh, oh, like, I had me. There's this one artist I'm trying to think of who paints just crazy detail. Um, but I, I can't think of his name anyway. I'll, 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 if I think of it, I'll get to it. I used to really be into it, you know. To what? Um, detail? Or yeah. Okay. Before I found painting. <laughs> so, okay. The, you know, the difference between painting and rendering is a painter will show off the paint, show you the beauty of the paint. Now, I mean, what's so exquisite about Turner is that you can still see all the paint, but he gives you all that detail. That that's, that's, a, that's really painting on a really high level. I mean, so, okay, now, how about we get our paintings in here? All right, everybody. Thanks, Rob, that was Thanks, great. Rob. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Great day, I hope so you uh, Bye. Bye. Hope I didn't freak you out too bad. <laughs> <laughs> good workout. It was a good workout, definitely yeah, a good workout. Good. Good. So Rob, no class next week, right? Oh yeah, yeah, Thanksgiving, no class next week, okay? Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, Thanksgiving. Happy, okay. happy Thanksgiving. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. George. Bye, everyone. Bye, Lisa. Good see you. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.